Hello Divine Feminine and welcome to your power message for Thursday and I want to say a big thank you to everyone who's been emailing me and for all the donations about these new readings it means so much so thank you for being here and for being you and you know I'm loving doing these readings and nothing's really changed apart from the angels are just giving more information and opening me up more to share more with you which is really exciting and it really shows you're more ready now than ever for your union because maybe this information last year wouldn't go in the same or resonate the same and it just shows how far you've come so a big message for you today to give yourself a big pat on the back for how far you've come so before we bring the book in today they're guiding me to use this deck now this is a gorgeous deck i got this off make playing cards quite a while ago now but it's the twin flame guardian angels oracle by angali and Angali does some great cards, masculine cards, and, you know, other cards too. So what do we need to know today as a Divine Feminine? What do we need to know? So the first card we've got coming up is nature. Nature. And nature is so important to us on this journey. You know, I never realised until the past few years especially how important it is to go in nature. You know, I never really used to like going outdoors much before I was awakened. I used to prefer to be in a nightclub or in a bar or, you know, with a crowd. And motorbike speed there, big sign for anyone watching there. But this is about you going outdoors to connect with your true self. It's not really about wanting to worship the sun or, you know, be in the garden or any of these things. This is about the knowingness within you that as above so below so when you go outdoors in nature you feel close to god you feel connected with the heavens you feel more at peace because you feel the natural elements even if it's snowing or it's freezing cold or it's raining or the you know the wind is blowing it feels good it feels nice there's something in you that connects with that energy and that's why going outdoors in nature can be so powerful and that's why so many of you have dogs that you like to walk or, you know, even if you haven't got animals, you connect with nature. You know, you may walk in a park and squirrels come to you or, you know, you're connecting with animals in some way. Because animals are also a big sign about our energy because animals are, tend to be attracted to people with generous, loving hearts because they sense that in you. And this is about your love and light that you're sharing with the world. So we also receive so many signs in nature. We receive signs in woodlands, in parks, in oceans. You know, we just receive signs we are safe. And I feel that between now and the 28th, because they are really showing me that number. So, you know, for the remainder of January, try if you can to go out in nature. Even if it's just for five minutes or a couple of minutes a day just to breathe in the air because you're going to feel good from it it says beloved so this is how the angels speak to you through words like beloved dear one sweet thing beloved we urge you to get out into nature for a few hours so the angel's saying try today you know even if you've got a busy schedule or it's not something you'd normally do try to go outdoors in nature and enjoy the beauty of nature and allow nature to restore and replenish your soul especially if you're going through something right now you know if you're struggling if you're in fear if you know there's pain there for some reason or you're struggling to take in the guidance or you know you just can't quite see through the illusion right now if you go out into nature it's going to replenish you and you know this really started for me connecting with this you know i'd say it was probably about three years before union because i started really finding it enjoyable to sit in the sun and that's something i haven't really done before and what i was doing when i was sitting in the sun i don't mean going on holiday i mean what i would do in my old house because i had a garden but it was overgrown because it wasn't really connected to the house so i just kind of left it as it was and you know told the landlords i'm not even going in the garden that's your domain so and i only lived up the road from my mom and my mom had the most beautiful garden so I used to go into her garden and get the deck chair out when it was sunny and just sit there for an hour. And I'd just meditate and close my eyes and feel the warmth of the sun 
and feel nature. If it was raining, sometimes I'd go down there and I'd sit in the shed and I'd listen to the rain or I'd go down and read a book or I'd reconnect with things. I talked to the angels and I really did find power in nature at that time. And I feel that also helped me to move into a much more calmer state of mind to attract in my union. And really, you know, I don't go out as much as I should do right now because I'm usually busy. But I need to make time to free up time to be able to do this. And, you know, this is a message for me just as much as it is for you. The angels are urging us. So it's not just like they're saying, oh, you know, just give me a little nudge in the right direction to go in nature. They are urging us to go in nature to reconnect with ourselves and feel the power of heaven around us. You know, when we go out in nature, we realize how easily things manifest, how things effortlessly happen. You know, the way that the, the trees sway to and fro in the wind and the way the birds fly around and you reconnect with the squirrels and all these creatures. And then you see the beautiful flowers blooming and the bees buzzing and everything just seems very natural. And it is called the natural world for a reason, but we feel more natural and more in tune with our true self because we are of the heavens, remember. We are light and love. We are from source. So we feel that power. So even though it's cold, you know, it's freezing cold here in the UK. I mean, at the moment, you know, we're just having lots of rain, all that kind of cold, icy weather seems to have cleared up. But there's been a lot of rain around and wind and very cold. But the angel's saying, go out in it because it's going to replenish you. And I love walking in the rain anyway, as long as you're dressed right, you know. And that's what the angels say. Take the path of least resistance. That means go out with an umbrella if it's raining or a raincoat on. Don't just go out with your normal clothes on. You know, be prepared for anything. Be prepared. And we've got, I love you. Look at this. I love you. It says your twin flame counterpart wants us to relay an important message to you. Always remember, I love you. Isn't that beautiful? And if you're seeing the number 222, that's a big sign of this. And this is really powerful because, you know, the masculines want you to know right now that they love you and they care about you and they are doing everything they can to make this happen. Your twin flame wants us to relay an important message. Isn't that powerful? And this is the first time I've seen this card in this deck because when I get a new deck of cards, I shuffle them, yes, but I don't go through the cards unless it's my own deck and I'm making sure it's right. So I haven't seen this card before. If I have, I can't remember seeing this card before. So your angels are saying, you know, when you go out in nature, you're going to remember and you're going to feel the power of the love that they love you. So they are relaying a beautiful message. And I feel what this is saying as well is if you go out in nature, you're going to see a sign that says from your twin, I love you. And this is also number 54. So if you've been seeing the number 54, and, you know, when I think about it, I stopped my show on 5454 or something to do with 54 the other day. And I thought about the number and then brushed it off. But it says your twin flame loves you and is saying, always remember I love you. So the number 54 may be a sign that they love you, but you could see a sign that's unique or special. You may hear it in music. You may see the number 222 or you may see some sign in nature. You know, you've got the stag, the promise of union. We've got declutter. So the angels are also saying declutter. Declutter your mind. When we go in nature, we also declutter our minds from any chaos, any problems, anything we've absorbed from others. You know, it's very cleansing when we're walking in the wind, in nature, in rain. It feels very cleansing. When you declutter and clean your living and workspace, you will create more room for new blessings. And... You know, we've all been through a cramped Christmas. You know, at Christmas time, we have trees up and decorations around. And it's always so nice when we take them down and clean up because it feels fresh. Doesn't it look bare when you take all your decorations down? But it feels fresh and clean and lovely at the same time. So you might just need to give your house a bit of a sprucing up. Maybe you've been busy and you haven't cleaned for a little while. And I don't mean cleaning as in general cleaning. I mean spring cleaning. You know, me and George get very, very busy. And we've actually decided in this year 
to do our own cleaning in the house because we are, we only want our energy here. And you may choose to do that too. You may think, well, I can afford a cleaner, you know, someone to come in and do it for me to help me out. But I really want to keep my energy in the home. And that's what we're doing. So George is in charge of the hoovering and I'm in charge of everything else. And that's the way I like it because you know what divine feminines are like? We like to be in charge. So this is about decluttering and clearing things out. Maybe you're having a clear out because... You know, we're moving towards spring. You know, it won't be long if you think of it that way. You know, whatever season you are in, you know, the seasons are changing. So you may think, okay, I want to put all of my, you know, winter clothes to one side so I can get my spring clothes ready. And maybe there's some things you want to donate. So maybe you receive some things for Christmas that you don't want that you can help others out with. Or maybe you're having a big tidy round or your spring cleaning and moving things around. That's the energy I'm feeling. And also decluttering our mind. You know, when we go in nature, we declutter our mind because our mind is also a garden. And like a garden grows weeds as well as flowers, our mind can also grow weeds as well as flowers. So going outdoors and <sighs> taking in that good ass prana, as Ralph says, you know, it allows us to re release and get rid of all of that chaotic energy. So it says many blessings are going to swoop into your life. How will your space look if you were living with your twin flame? Wow. How would your space look if you were living with your twin flame? And this is really powerful because I've already done the DM to the F reading for today. You know, I recorded it before this one. I thought, just see what the energy is. And I can't tell you how much the readings I've already done today resonate with your message. It's going to blow your mind. Okay, I'm not going to spoil anything. Spoilers, as they say in Doctor Who, but it's going to blow your mind. So, how would your space look right now if your twin flame was living with you? You know, if your masculine knocked on the door right now, would you be ready for them to come in for a coffee? Would you be ready for them to stay the night? Would you be ready? Would you feel comfortable with them, you know, seeing you the way that you are right now? So this is also about, you know, sometimes we get too used to having our gym jams on, you know, and sometimes we have to spruce ourselves up to feel better. You know, we'll put a bit of makeup on. And that's not, that's for us, you know. It's not for the masculines because the masculines love you no matter what. doesn't matter. George loves me with a wig, without a wig, with my too thin, without my too thin, with makeup, without makeup. But sometimes we need to do it for ourselves. Sometimes I just like to put a nice wig on in the house to feel nice. Or I like to put my makeup on, a nice dress on to feel good. Other days I just want to swan around in my gym jams. But this is also saying to you, you know, how would you feel right now if your masculine knocked on your door? So maybe start getting ready for them energetically by preparing for them in that way. You know, it's entirely up to you. It's your life and you live it your way and that's fine. That's beautiful. You are beautiful inside and out. But these are just things to think about. You know, before union, I made sure that there was space in the closet for clothes and you know, there was a balanced bedside table. You know, for example, if you've got a single bed, I'm sure you haven't, but if you've got a single bed, you need a double bed. How's your masculine going to fit in that single bed? And you may be thinking, well, I'm waiting. I'm waiting until we move to our own place. But the universe works with what you do now and what you have now. So create it now how you want it to be. And then you manifest those things that you want together later okay let's bring the book in isn't this a powerful divine feminine series i'm just loving it so here we go then so the message for today oh love this let me just move this over now the first thing we've got is you know the day is 12 and the energy the number is 12 of this book where we are and 12 is about stability so if you're seeing 12 12 on the clock it's a message about stability and he says, know and understand, I've put the understand in there, but know that you are a blessing to the world. And you are, you know, you came into this world as a blessing to your parents, even if they didn't seem to be blessed by your coming into the world, or you were a blessing to them in so many ways, because you are also a teacher as well as a student. But you are a blessing, you're a blessing to people around you, to humanity, 
to yourself, you're a blessing to me. You are a blessing to your twin flame and they want you to know that they love you. And the thought for today is, I am a blessing to the world and I bring great blessings to it. I receive, and this is also about you being in the energy of receiving because you know that you are a blessing, a present, a gift. So when we operate in that energy ourselves, we allow more in. And these are great affirmations to use. You know, I am a blessing to the world and I bring great blessings in. I receive blessings from the universe and I am blessed. I accept these gifts now fully and in all ways. So when we feel blessed, we receive more to be blessed by because the universe wants to bless those who are grateful. The universe lives to bless those who are grateful. That's why the, the universe works and beats, you know, its heart beats for that. We're right by your side day and night. This is the angel speaking to you without interruption. We send you waves of love at each moment like the continuous rays of the sun. Now, isn't that powerful when I've been talking about the sun and the way I used to sit in the sun and feel its rays on me? And it really does remind me of the way, you know, I used to feel when I used to sit outside. That's how, and then the cloud comes over, you know, the dark cloud comes in. That's how the masculines feel when the feminine isn't in their life. You know, when you're around them, connecting with their energy, they feel warm, the sun is on them, it feels nice, and then a big black cloud goes over, and they feel cold, that's what it's like when you're apart, and you know, George will tell you that for one, but it's true, so you are a blessing, and the angels are reminding you that you are a blessing, and that your masculine loves you, remember they're relaying that message to you today, and reminding you to go out in nature, in the sun, near the waves of the ocean, you know, wherever you are. Our love for you is ongoing and non-stop because we always see your true perfection. So the angels see you in God's image and they are asking you to see yourself and others in that way too because then we forgive, we don't judge, we heal, we have compassion and empathy and understanding and we feel at peace. It says you're a shining divine being who has remarkable gifts of great joy, wisdom and tremendous compassion. Everyone benefits from your presence on this planet because you also radiate love throughout each day. So start each day with love. Say to the universe, I am ready for what you have for me today. I am ready to face this day with power. I know that it's going to be a great day. I know that this day will bring blessings in. I intend that right now. And you're a blessing to the world. And they give me a blocked throat chakra here as well because you're a blessing to the world, because you have things to say, things to share, that may be blocked right now, because you may not know how to do it, or what to do, or in what way to do it, but I feel this also a big message for some of you, that you have a message to share, and the angels want you to share it, you're a blessing to the world in so many ways, some of which defy earthly logic, it says, suffice to say that your existence on this planet is very much appreciated, so in other words, you may not understand yet why you've come or why you're here, but you know, certainly know that you are here for a reason. And a lot of what you are going through right now is also part of your mission and purpose because that gives you power. So the angel's saying, you are beautiful and you are magical. And do you know what it's reminding me of? You know, if there's any Doctor Who fans watching and, you know, I've only become a Doctor Who fan recently, you know, me and George are watching it, but... You know, the Doctor in Doctor Who, no matter who he's played by, and my favourite Doctor on season seven right now, but my favourite Doctor is Matt Smith anyway, followed closely by David Tennant, but I absolutely love Matt Smith. I think he's brilliant. But when the Doctor sees an alien, you know, no matter what the alien looks like or, you know, where it's from, he, he, he says, wow, you are beautiful. You are beautiful. And he appreciates everyone for who they are without judgment. And I love that. And yes, it's a show and it's about aliens, but it's the fact that he looks at everyone in that way. You know, so someone from Earth may look at that, that alien as a monster and think, oh my goodness, it's going to eat my brain. But Dr. Who says, you are beautiful. And it's so amazing. You know, and he also kisses people, you know, spreads love. 
And I don't mean kisses everybody in, you know, a sexy way. I mean, he appreciates. He shows love and affection and appreciation in that way. So be you, be unique, be Doctor Who in your life because that's your power. And remember who you are. And, you know, just shine bright because when you do that, you attract everything in. But the big message is go in nature, declutter and remember a message relayed from heaven that your masculine loves you and wants you to know that today. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.